Hello, this is the trade site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview and Domestic Economic Data Roadmap for the week beginning Monday the 17th of November 2014, ending Friday the 21st. This is options expiration week for November of the 2014. Charts as usual brought to you by East Signal. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. Not a very exciting week if you look at it. The whole week was basically spent in a 20-point range on the ES. That's not a lot. You'll see that more clearly on the intraday look. Uh, no new counts to talk about in terms of our bar counting methodology. Here's a look at the NASDAQ side. did close at a new high at 4224.99 on the NASDAQ 100 index. S&P was only up half a point on Friday. SOX, still been dead sideways for the last few weeks. Uh, Biotechs tried to roll over here. Had a very negative day on Friday. They were the lagging sector for sure. Let's look at some of our key stocks that we like to follow. Uh, Google didn't do much this week at all, just kind of sideways. Apple did break out and ran to new highs for the year. Take a look at the VIX real quick before we move on. 1331, it's basically contained at this point. Crude oil dipped as low as almost $73 a barrel before closing at just over 75 Again, that's a good for prices at the pump, but might not be great for the stock market and the economy in general. It does maybe indicate signs of a slowdown there. Here's the gold futures broke out uh, over the last two weeks high. Let's take a look at Amazon. Uh, had a big day on Friday to the upside. Here is a look at Netflix, another one we trade frequently. Dead flat this week, as flat as it can get. Tesla came back a bit and heading back towards uh, those highs. Um, we'll take a look at Facebook as well. Dead flat the last week or two. And here's a look at Twitter. Also hasn't done too much, although we did make money this week a couple times on Twitter. All right. Uh, here's a look at the intra-week action. This is, I'm sorry, this is 10-minute bars on the ES front month futures contract. Uh, and look at how flat this is the whole week. This is from Monday to Friday. You know, you spent the majority of your time this whole week between 2030 and 2038, and that is a very narrow range. Eight-point range on the ES is nothing. Uh, here's a look at the NQs, and you'll be able to see here that it's only marginally better to the upside. So that was a very flat week. Volume was not massive. Um, things were, there's a look at the volume. Each day kind of topped out about 1.7. We had 1.5 one day. So not great in terms of volume and action. A little bit surprising. Uh, this next week we do have some things to be ready for. So let's take a look at the economic data that's coming out. Monday, not a big deal. Empire Manufacturing, Industrial Production, Capacity Utilization. Tuesday, the PPI number, that can be important, but not super important typically. The NAHB Housing Market Index, tick, uh, net long-term tick flows in the afternoon. Wednesday, MBA Mortgage Index, Housing Starts, Building Permits, Crude Oil Inventories, and the minutes from the last Fed meeting. Thursday, we've got uh, initial and continuing jobless claims. That's the weekly number. We've also got CPI. That can be a big one. Uh, and uh, existing home sales along with the Philly Fed and leading indicators. So a lot of data Thursday. Friday, no data. Now remember, Friday is options expiration. This is a single expiration. We've got, uh, uh, that means likely Wednesday will be the day with the options unraveling move. If you don't get it Wednesday, we'll look at it Thursday, especially with all that data coming out. And that should uh, wrap up the options cycle. Friday will, will likely be very light because of the options expiration. So hopefully we'll see some action this week, better than last week, get the market moving again. Let's focus on Wednesday, Thursday in particular. Charts as usual brought to you by East Signal. We will be in the lab helping you out. If you haven't taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. Have a great trading week.